assalamu alaikum dear friends welcome back to my channel dr crochet today i'm going to show you how to make this beautiful baby popper for girls it's very beautiful and easy to make i have used puff stitch to make this beautiful comfy sweater it's very simple and easy and there is no stitch in this sweater i have made this stitching less and at the back i have made this button hole strip to ease for convenience and at the bottom here we have also these holes it's very simple and easy so let's start how to make this beautiful typical feel over First of all, we need a crochet hook. I am using 4.5 mm crochet hook and a double ply full yarn. So let's start. Make a chain, make a knot, and chain 45. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. baby girl so I have used 60 chains to make this neckline but now because I am going to make this romper for a newborn baby girl so I have used 45 chains to make this neckline now I am going to chain 2 and insert hook in the fourth chain count as one double crochet now I'm going to make one double crochet in each chain of this foundation row here I have made 45 double crochets in these 45 chains now let's start working now I'm going to make chain 2 and yarn over turn over and skip skipping this first stitch and now make double crochet in the next stitch now I'm going to make 7 double crochets in next 7 stitches 1, 2, 3, 4 5 6 in chain 2 and again make one double crochet in this eight stitch now counting this as one now I'm going to make more seven double crochets in next seven chains two three four five double crochet in the same eight stitch as you can see we have made two double crochet in this eight stitch spacing by two chains now after six chains I have made again two double crochets in this eight stitch spacing with two chains now I'm going to make 12 double crochets one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. In the 13th stitch, I'm going to make one double crochet, chain two, and again one double crochet in the same stitch. As you can see, I have made seven double crochets here, seven double crochets here, and total of 14 double crochets in this row. Now again make 6 more double crochets including this 1 double crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I have made Six more double crochets and including this we have complete seven double crochets and now making eighth double crochet in eight stitch and chain two again and make one double crochet in the same stitch again now making one double crochet in each chain left one two Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight double crochets, and these three double crochets for overlapping for button hole strip. One, two. Now chain 2, yarn over and turn, skip the first stitch, insert hook in the next stitch and make 1 double crochet in each of the double crochet stitch. including the pattern 8 and 3 for overlapping strip for buttonhole now I have made again 3 double crochets uh, sorry 11 double crochets in these 11 double crochets now it's time to increase I'm going to make 1 double crochet in this 2 chain space again chain 2 and 1 more double crochet in the same chain space like this as you can see I have made two double crochets spacing by two chains in this two chain space now making one double crochet in next eight double crochets two and eight eight double crochets in this eight double crochets and again increasing time we have made one double crochet 
in this space and chain 2 again one more double crochet in this 2 chain space for increasing and now we have here 8 plus 2 10 double crochets one now I'm going to make 14 double crochets in these 14 double crochets and including this increasing double crochet and one will I do here we have 16 double crochets now make 14 double crochets in these 14 double crochets here we have made 14 double crochets in these 14 double crochets now I am going to make one double crochet in this two chain space again for implementing the number of chains and chain two one more double crochet in this space and again make eight double crochets in these eight double crochets one now one more double crochet in this two chain space chain two and again one more double crochets and again eight double crochets in remaining Here we have made increment using this. here 14 here and 7 this and this back strip I have used 3 and 11 stitch and these 3 stitches are extra for overlapping making button hole strip now continue working on the same pattern increasing one by one for next 6 rows let's see after six rows here we have made two rows of increment now let's see after six rows of increment i have completed six rows making one double crochet in each of the rows and increasing one at every row now here and in the same we have increased in each row so now we have this I am going to attach this In the same Now it looks like this As you can see As we fold it It looks like this this for shoulders and this for main front yoke and this is for back yoke here I'm going to again attaching one more safety lock now it is easy to understand and here I have made 14 rows of double crochet because I have made this pattern for one year old baby girl now because i'm going to make for newborn baby girl so i have made here six rows of double crochets now i am going to here attach this and making two more Have made three extra double crochets and one double crochet here extra here I have made nine double crochets instead of eight and here I have made eleven double crochets instead of eight so here we have three extra double crochets and one here so leaving these three double crochets I'm going to attach this with fourth double crochet like this 
inserting hook here and going to make in this fourth double crochet and going to make double crochet two chains and yarn over make one double crochet in each of the double these three double crochets with the three double crochets now yarn over insert hook from here So grab the yarn from the back side. Again, yarn over insert hook and make one double crochet in both chains from back side. Now join with stitch stitch to the top of first double crochet. Now as you can see we have attached this overlapping strip let's show you how it's good it is for convenience to wear and so i have attached it here with a crochet the same stitch making this sweater i have used puff stitch here, popcorn stitch here to make this pattern but because I am making this pattern for newborn baby and this should be irritating for newborn baby so I have not used to make so I have not made this puff stitch here now I am going to continue working with the same pattern and increase for two more rows double crochet in each of the double crochets three more rows by attaching after attaching this here we have nine inches for chest size for newborn maybe and up to two to three months is more than enough 9 inches so here I am going to stop working sorry stop increasing now let's start how to work now I am going to make 2 double crochet to chain 2 and yarn over make 1 double crochet in each of the Double crochet for that side. Now I have completed one double crochet in each of the double crochets. Now instead of increasing in this two chain, I am skipping this part that is used for shoulder or sleeve. I am going to attach this part with this here. So yarn over and insert hook in this first double crochet and make one double crochet I have skipped this part for sleeve now make one double crochet in each of the double crochet of front side as you can see this is front side I am going to work in front side one double crochet in each of the double crochets at front side now again make one double crochet in the last stitch and skip this part for sleeve and yarn over make one double crochet in this 
first double crochet of back side half back first double crochet in each of the double crochets of back side let me show how does it looks stitch at the end as we always do we chain two and turn over now let's see how does it look it is attached from here and now i am working in this area only and leaving this for sleeves it's up to you you can make long sleeves or leave it as a sleeveless so i am going to work for more six rows only on this area to increase the size of length of sweater so here i have completed six double crochets uh, here i have completed six rows of double crochets after attaching the shoulders now it's time to decrease here i am going to attach Up. Now, from this part, I'm going to decrease to make this leg space of this romper. So, insert hook from this side, side, and Double crochet in each of the double crochet of front. Now it's time to decrease. I'm going to decrease. Now chain two, yarn over and turn. Here I have to decrease the number of double crochets. So make one half double crochet leaving yarn on the hook and again one half double crochet and grab the yarn from all of these loops two double crochets together so it is used to decrease the number of crochets so i am going to make one double crochet in each of the double crochets so before this last double crochet I am going to crochet these two double crochets together make two half double crochets leaving loop on the hook and grab the yarn from all three loops and make one double crochet in the last stitch now as you can see we have decreased two double crochets one on the starting point and one on the ending point so to make the leg hole or thigh hole we have to decrease number of double crochets at every row so again make two chains yarn over and two half double crochets in next two stitches leaving loop on the hook and grab the yarn from all three loops to decrease the number of chains uh, double crochet sorry and again make one double crochet in each of the double crochet one and two half double crochets in loop on the hook and crocheting together and make one double crochet in the last stitch now you can see the shape is going to increase 
Now continue working for next 6 rows and decrease 1 from left and 1 from right side at every row. One from here you can see I have completed more 6 rows of double crochets and decreased 1 double crochet from each side starting at each side to decrease the numbers of double crochets to make this tie hole. So here I am going to complete the work and chain 1, make 1 single crochet in each of the stitch or each of the stitch. Now cut off the yarn and it's done. Now I have to make this back side following the same pattern. Here I have side as you can see it's very simple and easy you can make it in any color and any size according to your requirement if you wish you can make long sleeves I have made it sleeveless due to the, uh, due to shortage of time otherwise the video should be long so I have made here two button holes and this black hole, high hole, whatever you can say, and to make it more cute and beautiful, so I am going to. I have more two flowers. I'm going to add these little tiny flowers here to make it more beautiful. It look very pretty. I hope you like my video and my efforts. If you like my efforts. Do hit the like button and share your comments with me in the comment swap. It's very simple and easy. I hope you like my video. So stay tuned. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Do like, subscribe and share my channel with your friends and family members.